going on for looking like these kids of all ages. Well, I just received my Sideshow Iron Man 3 Mincat Exclusive 257 to 500. Um, I'm one day late in the game. I wanted to have my shit on Wednesday, but today's Thursday. No problem. Sideshow delivery sucks. Got a little vodka. Got pomegranate with Darn OJ, excuse me. I got a healthy grinder. And uh, I'm gonna open this bad boy up. So I'm gonna open it here and there and up on top. We'll let it flap down. Don't wanna cut through the tape. I wanna do something exciting, something dangerous, something with one take. And you know, I got a couple of years under my belt with this shit. So I'll see how it works out if I don't cut into the box and into the statue. But I'm pretty sure I won't cut into the statue, but I'll definitely cut into the base. That's pretty big. And uh, with that said, let's start this baby up. I know you motherfuckers want to see this shit die. Want to see my hand come off. I know this shit. So. Let's see. Don't worry, boys and girls. Don't try this shit at home if you ain't a professional. One-handed, motherfuckers. That's how we do it. Let me lay this down right here. Hit that top, and we'll see what happens. Let me get my drink on. Don't drink and use a grinder, please. <laughs> That's the most important shit right here. Can't drop the liquor. All right. Let's see. Man, I think I fucked up the turntable. Oh, this motherfucker's heavy. Not that heavy, but it's heavy. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You can't fuck with an unboxing like that. Look at that shit. Look at these corners. How you like that? Damn. Ah. But you know I didn't have that shit in this box because uh, I wasn't really gonna take a chance. I just wanted to show you my skills. All right, we're going to check out that statue right now. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the little unboxing. Sorry, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't truthful. I apologize. So I just got the piece today, about two hours ago. And um, first thing I noticed, the base is huge. And uh, it's a little light, but it should be. It's heavy on the side where the monger is. And uh, it takes, let me see. I think it's, uh, hold on, making sure. Three AAA, uh, uh, double A batteries, which I'm gonna install right now. And this is 257 out of 500. I pre-ordered this uh, immediately when it went up. I saw this last year at the New York Comic Con. 2017, I said, oh, I gotta have this. This is my first Iron Man piece. Um, I do love 
this Iron Man, number three. The other suits are fantastic, but this one, I like to have it in the collection just to say that I have an Iron Man. You know, I'm not a, a major Avengers fan. I do love uh, Captain America. And um, so I wanted to pick this guy up. So I got him. Now, there is a uh, plenty of gifts here. You got to plug in, you want to plug into electricity and the battery. So I guess this is the button right here. Lights up and flickers. As you can see, it's working. So that's a good sign. So this is my the base. Now, the dirt, the clay is pretty cool. Uh, the monger there, chest piece is nice. And so we're gonna put this together. And after we put it together, I will give you some nice uh, detailed close-up shots. I can tell you one thing that you probably, if you if you're gonna get this, if it's coming your way, and it's been talked about a lot in the past couple of days is the, the amount of dirt that's on the bottom of the shoes, or I mean, excuse me, the boots, or the bottom of the, uh, of the feet here. I think, yeah, I, I agree with everyone that's uh, a little upset. It's a little excess of dirt on there. It takes a, a way, it's like they just fucking, uh, <laughs> just rubbed it on there and just said, fuck it, you know? And uh, they gave it that, that dirt and that little battle damage. Now, as I was looking at the paint on the head skull, on the portrait, the gold part, you know, you can see the brush strokes, but I'll give you a close up and you make up your own mind. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's part of it. I'm not an expert, you know, but if that's the way it should be, I gotta look at my 4, 4K video of it and uh, you know and check out some stills and just look at it. In the uh, the paint, the red, there's a I have like a little blemish, like it's not painted correctly or the glossy finish or something. I don't know what the hell's going on, but on the side of the helmet. But anyway. Those are a little bit of, uh, those are a couple of my gripes. All right, so let's put this uh, bad boy together. So battery's in. Let's take the right arm. You're going to uh, put it into the key right here on the base. And here it is. Nothing's fantastic. Now I do have the one six scale Hot Toys, which is awesome, I still have them. I was gonna sell them. And I do have the Mark III, and uh, I love it. So, but um, I was gonna take it out to do a little comparison, but uh, it's inside the cabinet, it's just too much shit in there to pull out. But we're gonna put this in. It slides in perfectly. It lays down on the base here, and the thumb will rest. It's resting on the uh, debris. So it's nice. It's really it's, it's almost having like a an extra you know ca you know another piece to your to your statue, which I, I really do like. I think I think there's a I think the money's all right for this statue for the size of it. All right, so here's a little um, piece that goes in the back. I have no idea what this is called, but it fits back here. It's magnetic. It'll stay. And hold on size it up here yep so it goes right back here I'll give you a close-up of that in a second sticks there perfectly and we got this bad boy and it's gonna fit just like that okay so I think it's a piston up on the shoulder so that just fits right there it's broken here so I, I know why they did that because you know shipping and, and whatnot. So they said, you know what, if you want to give them all this, you have to break this down. So I can I can see that, and it's fun putting it together as well. I think it's a little bit of fun, you know. If you guys are into, uh, most of you statue guys are not into one six anymore, but you were, <laughs> or maybe you know you had to play with with some kind of figures when you were young. 
Well, this is kind of like what Hot Toys is, you know? Reminisce, man. Bring back the uh, Hot Toy stuff in your collection. All right, so let's take the body and we're gonna insert it here. Now remember, this is all already wired up, so that's how the electricity or the battery power is going to go up and charge up all the light features on the statue. So that's cool. All right, so that's set in nicely, secure. We'll do the uh, the right arm. A lot of little battle damage and dirt, you know, in the grooves here, but, you know, I can deal with it. I, I don't know, I, I want my shit shiny. I don't know why, I just want it like really brand new, you know. The battle damage is cool, but, I don't know, sometimes I just want it clean, clean version. Hold on. Yeah, so at the New York Comic Con, when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is awesome. Now, his chest is really out. It's really, you know, it's big. You know, people were talking about that, you know, last year. I did a nice video of this, and uh, I, it looks fine. It's just his posture, his position, how he is set, you know? And that's what makes it look the way it does, you know? He's got a chest, and he's really suits lined up tightly you know so okay let's put the head you gotta be careful with this shit because uh if you tend to push this really hard and bend it um i've had experiences that light up features that are already pre-wired like this and they don't have like hot toys like a, like a battery here a battery here you can fuck this shit up. So, be careful. Now this is the exclusive piece that comes with the Iron Man, I mean the uh, <laughs> monger head. Oh, it's nice, you know. Like it? Pretty big. Don't worry, close up shots are coming up. So you can get a really crisp look at all the paint colors and everything. All right, moment of truth. I'm not gonna see it, but let's see if the light's up. Got the eyes lit up. Uh, the reactor, good. And that's it. Wait a minute. I don't know about the arms. Could it be me? Well, I'll figure it out in a second. Ooh, ooh. See, I'm all nervous now. Hold on, turn this off for a minute. That's what happens. No editing, just first takes. I'll be right back. So, um, got a little nervous, but the, uh, the palms are lit. So what it was, it was the uh, connection. This one is good. The left arm, if you, if I push it down a little bit, it, and there's a little movement here, and if I go back a little bit, it turns on and off, on and off. So just push it in tightly and uh, it lights up. So we're good. I'm happy. So as a centerpiece, man, this thing is awesome. It really looks awesome. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I think my older son, uh, which works for the Navy. Uh, he's gonna see this Iron Man and he may take this to his house. So I may have to hide it for a while, put this somewhere where it, well anyway, he always comes down here, but um, I'm gonna hide this shit because I think he's gonna take it. It looks fucking awesome, it really does. I'm, I'm impressed with it. Um, the only thing is again, the dirt all over, it's crazy. It's a, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of dirt. I'm not really feeling it. I mean, when it's on here, 
I can see it, you know, blended in, but there is a little bit of too much dirt. I, I, I think so. I think so. So let's get with the uh, close-ups. All right, so here's a great shot of this head sculpt. That mask is, it's really nice. I'm gonna light up the eyes so you guys can take a look at that. Close up, which is really nice. It's bright enough where you could actually, uh, you know, turn it on, with your lights on in your home. It's pretty intense. Can't complain. So, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but when I look at it, I feel like the paint's not complete. You know, I'm not an expert. Again, I'm just going by the years of experience that I had in collecting. Here's the back. Just... There's some battle damage there. Pretty cool. Anyway, so let's head over to the, the rest of this bad boy. Which I'm gonna just do it on one take, guys. So, part of my camera work. Here we go. So, let's work on the arm. Serious battle damage there. Is that a nice hand? So you know, right here it dulls a little bit the paint, while right up here on the, um, as you can see on the forearm, the armor here. It's a lot shinier. Of course, I know it's burnt and whatever, but I know it's just a little shit like that just confuses me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you pay that kind of money for a statue, sometimes you see all this, uh, all these imperfections, and you're like, oh, I don't know if I wanted really a battle damage piece, but now the inner workings in here where the shoulder is, it's fucking awesome. I'm gonna pull it out. See what happens. Just take a look at that. Close up of that. So great detail here. You can see. Insert, insert this peg. And a little click there and the lights on in the palms. So that, you know, that's happening because uh, the flickering on that on this reactor there, it's because of the shoulders, you know, the arms touch them in a certain way and like disconnects kind of, see that? See that? So, you know, just beware, you know, be careful. Let's look at that other arm. I mean, the, the pose, if I'm going to kick back the camera here, give you a wide angle. Look at that pose, man. I mean, really, that's that's fucking classic. I mean, just he's just standing there like triumph. I just won. I kicked the shit out of the monger. You know what I'm saying? Fucked him up, and uh, that's it. You know, he's just in that moment, man. It's pretty cool. Now I'm understanding what I'm looking at. As I get deeper into the statue, you know, the more I, you know, a couple couple more minutes into it, you start understanding what where the uh, the mind of the sculptor went. You know what he was trying to capture. It's fucking nice. See the reactors lit up over there? I mean, um, in the palm, it's nice. So they're all lit up, so everything's working on mine. So thank God. There's the leg. So let's talk about the, uh, d the amount of uh, dust there, man. Dirt, whatever. It's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot on that boot. All right. 
It's a little too much. What do you think? I, I, I think there's a... I mean, in the comments, you know, tell me yes, no. I think there's a lot of shit there. It's just too much. Let's hit the back of this guy. Give you a wide, wide shot. Let's do the whole back. I mean, great detailing. Out of battle damage. He did kick the shit out of Iron Monger, so I guess that's part of it, right? You know, I think that the guys that haven't gotten this and are gonna get it, you guys are, are gonna fucking go crazy. If you're really a truly uh, an Iron Man fan, and if you love the movie, you definitely are going to love this piece. So I want to give you a shot with the base. Take a look at that. Put out the figure on it. See what you're getting or see what you missed out on. It's awesome. I'm super excited. I am. It's really a, uh, it's really beautiful piece. I'm very happy. Well, boys and girls, um, I hope you like the uh, quick unboxing and uh, and review of this awesome piece. Congratulations to all that are receiving it. Any of you guys are on the uh, fence, pick them up. He's awesome. And you don't have to collect the fucking whole Avengers line to pick this guy up. You necessarily do not have to have a couple of other pieces from the Avengers. So you can fucking get him on, on its own. It's a great representation of Iron Man and uh, it's awesome Mark III. I love it. You know, I don't I don't I can't collect the whole fucking line. A lot of you guys that do collect it, congratulations on it. I can't that's not my my mindset's not there. Now talk to me about predators and we'll fucking I'll collect them all day. But yeah, he he is he is stout plus this piece is fucking stout. Excuse me for effing so much, but I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I am excited. I love it. See no more. If you watch this video, you got to get this, man. You got to review it, man. You're going to love it. So I think the battery's dying out on me. Or, oh, there you go. See that? Got to be careful with this shit. I guess I'll plug this in, you know, wherever I'm going to actually display it. But yeah, it's pretty massive. It's, it's impressive. It really is impressive. All right, boys and girls, if you haven't subbed, sub. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. And uh, you know how I always say it. I know you don't like me, but you like my style.